Hello everybody, it's Jen from the Planner Chicky. First things first, I want to apologize for the sound of my voice. I'm in the middle of a bronchitis episode, if you will. So tragic. But I filmed this four times and this is the one that's going to stick. Nails are gross, sound gross, perfect on the film. I mean, come on. Um, I ordered my 2018 Hobo Nietzsche Techo. I guess I ordered my Hobonichi Techo 2018. I already opened this box. I'm not going to lie. It's also quite heavy. Yep, that heavy. Um, I would say it's uh, probably 12 pounds. Yeah, I would say 12 pounds. So the thing with Hobonichi, let's just chat for a second. The thing with Hobonichi is I tried to think about everything I wanted from the website to get my order done one shot because it's $20 just for delivering to the United States. I think that's crazy. I think it's crazy. So anything that comes up throughout the year, I'm not going to do another order to Hobonichi because I'm not paying $20. I'm not. I'd rather pay $2 more from Jet Pens and get the item not only quicker, but overall less expensive. Okay, rant over. Let's see what's in the box. <clears throat> Yellow, not my favorite color. Well, that yellow is not my favorite color. I like, like a sunny yellow. So it always has the Japanese quote. This is new for 2018. Don't just reach for a bandage. 365 days is plenty of time to fix things upright. Is it, though? Is it? Sometimes you don't have 365 days. Who am I to argue with safety match fireside chat? Never heard of that. Okay. So, okay. So... Let me just grab something first. Okay, here we go. Don't look. Because inside this box, hot freaking mess. When I say I went it through this box already, completely did. This is not a, uh, what you call it, an unboxing video. It's more of a, hey, this is what I got kind of video. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wait to film and open the box. I'm, I'm not crazy that way. I mean, I waited long enough for it to get here. I'm, I had to open it. Anyway, I think Oh Hi Joy was talking about this. Um, I don't remember, but I'll link her below anyway. Fantastic channel. So this is the Hobonichi Techo Welcome Book. Look at the planners. I like the zippies. So pretty. Um, this is in English as well, which is ironic to me because I've ordered all Japanese items. So it just tells you, like, all the things. Anyway, the point of this is not to go through all of it. So this is the creator. I'm not going to say his name, mostly because I cannot pronounce that name. And if I did, I would be insulting. But we want to say thank you to create the Hobonichi. And then it started in 2002 and sold all the way up to 2016 and 17. So it was kind of cool just to see how fast it grew. They probably don't think so fast, but I thought so fast. I mean... Big difference from, say, 2014 to now. I mean, 50,000, big difference. So that's in there for you to go through. And then, of course, the life book. Fun fact, also in English. So that's extra. And everybody likes the characters. So I'll say a big percentage of us like the characters. My favorite is the dog and the duck or goose, whatever you want to call it. And... The little Valentine's Day cherub. So cute. Even with his weenus. Um, so, there's that for you to look through. Also in English. So something to look forward to. Because last year I went and chucked it. Because I couldn't understand it. Okay. So, this is the box. It's the inside of the box. Thanks for coming. Okay. So, it comes with this useless piece of brown paper bag paper type of stuff. We're just going to put it over there. And see what I mean? Kind of rip through this. That was a sticker. That was some stuff. That's some stuff. And I was like, oh, I'll just put it all back together. I am not putting this back together. So let me just put the garbage to the side. Okay, so. Comes with your obligatory free gift, which I appreciate that. I appreciate Hobonichi chucking in some free stuff. A, I love their pens and have the refills still available to me from last year. The dice, not so much. I think it's kind of silly. Uh, I'll give that to my niece and these to my nephew, and they can play with them for an hour and throw them away. But it is a, in case you're new, it is a uni 
style pen and I believe the ink is 0.5 correct me below if I'm wrong but I believe so two of those because I ordered two planners I could not wait to get my hands on these gorgeous tiny beautiful tiny compared to a pen tiny what are these called? stencils so this is the green one and I feel like everybody that is hardcore Hobonichi's got a green one. Um, I'm excited for it. I like the boxes, like the stars, like the hearts, and the, like, this is a nice, like, all the cards. So, for the casino world, ta-da! All I need is three sevens. Got it! Um, but I like this one. I like how it's got the circle, the line circle, and then the arrow, line arrow. A lot of things in here. This will be a good one. And then I also got this one. I know they have names. I just don't know what they are, and I can't read Japanese, so, does it say at the bottom? No. Okay, moving on. I know the yellow one is, yeah, I don't know. I think this one is the activities. So, the emoji's cracking me up because it's smile, angry, sad, wow! That made me giggle. I like the weather. That's awesome. Travel. I like this for planning, like if I want to upload the video, so... I like a lot of it. So, and they fit in my Hoboni cheek. Woohoo! I was very excited to get those. Put those to the side. Then I ordered stickers. And I'm like, yeah, I really like these stickers. Somebody sent me a sample pack and I really like them. But guess what? I don't really like them. So, I do and I don't. Like, okay, so here's what it looks like. I took two off so I could show you something. The banner's cute, but it's a full square box. The upside down we've got birthdays I could use the whole sheet of those I do like these so I could put the flight the flight um, info that probably won't use these I will because I feel like saying pow bam automatopoeia style oh five dollar word English done right um, dinner I guess meals and then beer random gigantic numbers or uh, gigantic symbols here gigantic plate in case you had like that extra meal so this would be like a holiday plate a book don't forget don't forget could use a couple of more of those and then I think a shopping bag so here's why I am frowning upon them I'm frowning upon them pretty hard I might say and that is because I thought these fit real snugly around the boxes I'm trying to find the page because I am not prepared. I thought it would fit perfectly around the box, especially in the A6, because they're kind of small. And now I forget where I put it. I thought I put it right here, but I didn't put it right here. Really? You didn't? Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, so it's not there, but I'll give you an example. I will show you. I will show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so I've got a nice little square. See, it's very transparent. Which is cool. I find that gel pens right on them best. Okay, so let's just go to Christmas, okay? That's March. Maybe that's why I couldn't find them. Because I could have sworn I put one there. No, you didn't. You're crazy. Okay, so let's just say we're going to put it in the box. You go to one corner and you hope for the best. Because nothing ever lays straight. See, it doesn't fill the stupid box. What's the point of it? Hobonichi. So if it doesn't fit this, it's for sure not fit in the A5. That much we all know. But I appreciate the multitude of sheets, so I will find a use for them. Now let's talk about the balloon stickers. I think that's what they're called. Balloon seal. Balloon seal. They're extra cute, but you only get one flipping page. Like, this was $3 for one page of stickers. One page. Don't buy this. Not worth your money. And now let's talk about the real stuff. So the reason all this is open is because I wanted to move some stuff over to 2018 in my cousin for my work planner. This, I think, will be my work planner for the rest of my life. It's just perfectly done for me and my brain and the way my specific career is. This just works for me. It's a little big. And I thought about getting the Avec because this is heavy to carry every day. Not like heavy. I mean, I'm not crying over it. But, you know, lighten a load a little bit. Plus the stuff you carry in it. Plus the cover. It could get it could get weighty. It is definitely weighty. But the Avec, 
I thought would be an issue because I'm, I'm always referring back in time and forward, back and forward. So I thought, okay, I'm going to get the whole one. Now here, here is where that brown paper I referred to earlier is El Succo, and they should put bubble wrap because, look, this got dented. And you're like, Jennifer, give me a break. It's going to be in a cover. You're not wrong. But still, it's dented. Here's why I like the Japanese one is because the colors on the side, I can easily find each one. Plus, it's happy to look at colors. So what I did already, and you probably already got a little sneak peek. I like to keep track of my personal days and my time off from last year versus this year. And then it's always nice to have a sneak peek at next year because I do a lot of forward planning. Here, I already wrote down. I'm not in frame, am I? No. Why would that be? Index notes, meetings, trips. So I have a lot of trips I deal with. Infrequent meetings, but notes all the time, especially computer stuff. Um, oh, no, I thought I put one there. That's a fake out. That's just my writing. So it starts the monthly in December. I just added birthdays in there already um, just to get a jump. Any trips we've got going on. Other than that, it's pretty slim pickings, and I think I stopped. No, I hear you. Um, nothing major in there, just work. Anything that has to deal with work and people I need to call on specific days, aka birthdays, whether it be internal people or external people. That's a very nice way of saying that. Sorry, I had dog hair in my mouth. Shout out to all my animal lovers. The week view is awesome, um, especially for me and my brain. I just marked on on the top there, paydays, because I didn't want to put them in pen until I knew what was what, and I wanted to make sure I had them right, more importantly, so I didn't go too far down this road, um, and the weeks, they kind of stay alone, and then during the days, again, I didn't add anything on the day view either, because January hasn't happened, but January, it starts on the day per page in January, and it goes all the way through to these goofy things in the back that I never ever use. Till December 31st, I did put some passwords there for work that I forgot about. Hopefully you didn't see. If you did, please ignore them. So that is the Hobonichi cousin. Love of my life. Going to work with me tomorrow. In case you're wondering about the cover, I'm still going to use the black cover with the pistachio lining on the inside. Um, it worked out great for me. I did take the plastic part off because stuff was getting stuck inside of it. And it was just gross and dirty. And look, this sucker is stuffed not page wise because I don't use I use minimal washi tape to mark off long in the month view like long um, spans of time and then there's just stuff I have to file in here so this cover will be fine for next year the rest of the box has let's see if we can do this sneakily okay so I have purchased the a6 I struggled with the a6 I struggle with it currently and I struggled on like, this is dented too Oh, come on, Hobonichi shipping. Cheapers. Yeah, I know, it's going in a cover, whatever. You still want your stuff to be awesome and perfect. I do appreciate their binding. Always have. They make an excellent, excellent product. The reason I think I struggle with this is because I don't have a lot going on. This is this year's, um, and here is next year's cover, in case anybody wanted to know. I gave this to my sister. She didn't really use it, so it's in... Primo Conditiono, and it's a happy yellow. It's kind of the same, actually. Um, the inside's an interesting color, so we'll see. Or I'll just keep the blue and the peach, because I liked it. So, the monthly view, awesome. The weekly view, non-existent, really, in my world. Birthdays, anniversaries, but I did appreciate the monthly view. And let's just see if they changed anything. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think I wrote anything in here. Um, again, the year, blah, blah, blah. This is exactly the same. Yeah. Let's compare. Oh, I got the Japanese. I'm like, this is so much colorful. <laughs> so much colorful. I heard it. I heard it. My English back down to normal. Okay, so they changed the box up top, or maybe they didn't, and this is just Japanese. Um, and they gave me more space here than they did here. That's interesting, because the font... Uh, the font got smaller. Not really, though. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so that is relatively... That's cool. I don't know what I'll put up here, but I can if I want to. And then back to the monthly page. Still got my to-dos over here, or notes. I like how it counts down the weeks. 
the boxes look exactly the same. The number's still in the left-hand top corner. Still has, this is thicker than this one. Can you see? I should zoom you in and I should move you over. I am sorry. I am not a YouTuber by trade. Moving over, moving over. There we go. Zooming you in and moving you down. There we go. Welcome. Welcome to the conversation. Okay, so these boxes seem to me a lot bigger than this. Um, again, I don't know if it's because it's English to Japanese. I am unsure. I am unsure. I've learned to appreciate this. See how Saturday and Sunday is indicated? So Saturday is gray. Sunday and any holiday is in red. I've learned to visually appreciate this. So when I'm sitting either at work or home doing my planning, I look for this now. And I love a Monday start because that's just how life should go. And if you disagree, you're allowed. You're wrong, but you're allowed. <laughs> I am a jerk. Um... Still has the room down here, so the monthly view seems to be fine with me. The daily view. I know, I'm flipping, and it's like, yeah, you used all your pages. Not. Okay, again, Japanese English. This font is gigantic, almost for the blind. This is not. Oh, they added the check boxes, just like in the cousin size. <gasps> yes, oh, no, that's where I put the weather. Well, I'll just stick it over here. No big deal. But I love the top check boxes. So in the past, the way I've been using it, if I can find a decent page here, is to do's up top right here. And then, well, the weather, but I got lazy. Um, and then money spent, notes, and um, appointments or whatever I've been doing for that day. So, hmm, I don't know. This changes things. But you see this line right here? It's kind of what I was using as my guideline, except I cornered it off here. And here is what I like the best. See this little 12 just floating in four little squares? That's stupid. I mean, where it's just dumb. I like it how they have it here. And it's a military time, which I am getting used to, because that's just Hobonichi way. Whatever. Got the quotes. No big deal. I'll wash tape over that. And in the back again, same thing. Japanese stuff and to be honest I never even read it in the English stuff so I have graph paper I'm just going to cover it right up see it'll blend nicely with that okay so the other things you saw the reason I'm questioning whether I'm going to use this or not is because 2017 in my Hobonichi was awesome great for archiving because just chuck this in a bookcase or wherever um but I was a little all over the place like, when I was in my rings, I knew exactly what I was doing, who I was doing it, when, where, how long, how little. I knew where to go for every answer that I needed. And I struggled with the Hobonichi. I think if it had the weak view and a lot more note paper, my brain would settle down. And honestly, the weak view, I kind of got around it with the, the month at a glance. Like, you know, having that weak visually in my head worked out just fine. Some days I don't have that much to say and other days I do. So my backup, if I don't use this and I haven't decided yet, is to make this just a journal, either gratitude or regular. So I'm not, I ordered it because I knew I was going to use it in some capacity. I just don't know which one. Okay, then I also ordered this book called Hobonichi, I'm closing the box because it's super awkward, Hobonichi Papers. It is not the same binding, okay? So it does not have like the cross stitching going this way. Um, these are removable papers, I believe. Let's try it. I know, I'm scared too. And it's not the Tomei, Tomei River paper. I don't know how to say that word, so let's just say I'm saying it wrong. I thought it was the Tomei River paper, but definitely not. So it's supposedly easy to rip out. So my thought was, Great, this is a bunch of notebook paper that I could shove in the back of my Hobonichi with washi tape or just in the back paper pages of the, uh, what do you call it, cover. And then my problem is solved. And, hear me out, this is the exact same size as this book. Top to top, side to side, exact same size. A6 in every single way. If I took this page... I would probably cut this at the bottom because, I mean, some days I'd have these, some days I wouldn't. And then, let's just say I did that, just for schmigiggles. These are just ideas, like, you're looking at the website, you're like, oh, that's cool, oh, that's cool. 
Okay, so I'm in a day right here. What is it? Here we go. I can't see. Oh, I know why I can't see because it's in Japanese. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. All right, let's just say that to Monday. I'm looking for money. I'm like, wow, I'm really going blind. I would just tuck this in here nicely with washi tape or probably like this. And then see how it sticks out just a smidge and probably wouldn't if I did it properly. Just a little. That could be my weak, quick at a glance, like quick view. And maybe my brain would settle down knowing that that's there. Or, like I said, I could just put this in the back. Boop. I think between covering the, the informative pages with my graph paper that's over there and using the Hobonichi papers, I think this could be my... My planner for 2018, but these are just ideas I'm messing around with. So that's what I did. I do have, I do have something else I'm working on, and that will be shown in my next video as the process for 2018 comes to close. Um, I just don't know which way my brain is going to go. It could go all the way back to rings. But I'm thinking of travel Traveler's Notebook style. So that is coming next. And I've been binge watching. Binge watching. I mean crazily. These notebook um, channels. Because they're just awesome. And I, I feel like my creativity was missing from here. And I know I'm not a creative person. But like playing with the paper. The, you know like the, the 12 by 12 papers and just decorating it the way I like it but functional at the same time um I'm missing that I really am missing that with this but I think if I chuck this and take half of this book out like rip out half the pages so say this much that that's a good amount and I put this and this into some strings I think it'll be good so that's that's what my brain is telling me would be a good idea We'll see what happens. Stay tuned and thank you as always. And thank you for putting up with my voice because I know I sound like a nasally little old hag. Um, but I will be back next week. And until then, I hope you have a great holiday that you celebrate. And I will see you soon. Toodles.